If you take a statin or have been recommended to take a statin, you likely think it's to lower your cholesterol. And that's partially right, but it's not the full story. Statins are among the most prescribed and controversial medications. There's a lot of conflicting information about statins, and if you feel unclear about the benefits of a statin, you're not alone. Less than 60% of those who would benefit from a statin are actually taking one. The result is thousands of preventable heart attacks and strokes and premature deaths. How do you make sure you're not one of them? Susan, a recent patient of mine, asked me, why should I take a cholesterol medication if my cholesterol is not high? Susan was seeing me because she had a heart attack and wants to make sure she is doing everything possible to prevent another one. She is active and says she feels great. However, she stopped her statin because her cholesterol numbers have always been good. She was surprised when I recommended she start retaking the statin medication. Statins are commonly referred to as cholesterol medications. Statins are among the most prescribed medications and they do more than just lower cholesterol. There is a lot of debate about who should be taking a statin, statin medication and while there are passionate people on both sides, often the right answer is mostly dependent on the goals of the patient. Some people want to do what they can to prevent heart attacks and stroke and taking a statin makes sense to them. Others don't want to take a medication or are concerned about the potential side effects of statins. Who's right? I believe they both are as long as the decision is based on understanding the real risks and benefits and not perceived risks or false information. I see my role as a cardiologist to explain the real risks and benefits of medications and not to tell my patients what to do. It's your right to decide what makes the most sense to you. The first place I start is to emphasize that the controversy around statins is not whether they are effective or not. Statins are among the best studied medicines in the his history of medicine and the evidence is clear. Statins are proven to decrease the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death in those who are at high risk for heart disease. The controversy is more often how do we define high risk? The second thing I emphasize is that while 90% of people don't have side effects to statins, about 10% do, including me. And taking a medication that makes you miserable now to avoid problems in the future doesn't make sense to me or anyone else. So back to Susan, why did I recommend that Susan restart her cholesterol med if her cholesterol numbers were good? Well, there are two reasons. Number one, what is defined as good cholesterol depends on your risk. Cholesterol numbers that are perfectly acceptable in a young person with no risk factors could be completely unacceptable in someone with a high risk of heart disease. Because Susan had a heart attack in the past, she is in the high risk group. And then number two, statins have been shown to lower risk even in those with normal or low cholesterol numbers. Rather than cholesterol meds, statins would be more appropriately called risk meds. Once Susan knew why she was prescribed a statin, she was glad to start retaking it. Why do you take a statin? This information is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. Don't make any decisions about your medical treatment without first talking to your doctor. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about living a long, healthy life you love, click the link below to learn more about how we help people increase their health span. And if you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe.